Hey guys, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today we're doing a spoiler-free review of Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. And oh, I, I gave this five stars. I am not a YA person, but this didn't feel YA to me. It felt beautiful and wonderful. So, young girl suffers from schizophrenia, which is rarer that she's suffering from schizophrenia at the age that she is because she begins to suffer from it, um, I believe around seven or eight. And one of the severe symptoms of schizophrenia is a hallucinations. Not a hallucinations, but hallucinations. And uh, in the first page or two, you realize that she, um, so in the first chapter, she is, I believe, seven or eight, and she's at the grocery store, and she is looking at the lobsters, and she has a full conversation with a gentleman who lifts her up, and she crawls in and lets all the lobsters go free. Now, there was actually never a guy there, period. So that is the first time that you're like, whoa okay, how did this child get up on top of the lobster cage and let them all out? We don't know. So when you fast forward, which is in the next chapter, this young girl is going to school and she's trying to survive her senior year in a normal facet. And she doesn't really know what normal is because she's never had normal. Um, one of my favorite parts of her is something that I relate to very strongly. She carries around a camera with her at all times and she takes pictures of everything because she's never sure what's real and what's not. Um, she suffers from a little bit of insomnia. She is a little bit um, overwhelmed by everything. She's not sure what's real, what's not. She's not sure her to, who to trust, who not to trust. And she's, she's a very good judge of character and a very aware person. Um, she struggles with a gentleman named Miles, partially because he's a little bit of a tool and partially because he reminds her of the boy from the lobster tank. So she thinks she's imagining him. This book was beautiful, wonderful. If you like Wes Anderson films, I would recommend this. The characters reminded me a lot of that Wes Anderson kind of feel. I wouldn't say go into it with that feeling of like, I don't even know how to explain, but it's got a very Wes Anderson feel in terms of characters. They're kind of quirky and weird and a little bit awkward and they really don't make sense, um, but they're very relatable. Yeah, that would be the best way I could explain this. These are very Wes Anderson kind of film characters. Um, and I really loved it. And there's and there's so much beauty behind this. And the writing is very simple. It's a chunker of a book, though. It's uh, not a chunker, but it's, it's a good four something, 400 and something pages. But the font is relatively large and spread out. So it's an easier read. It was a struggle for me because I kept having to put it down because of triggers and um, familiarity that would kind of switch me on and off. But it was beautiful and it was wonderful. And I feel like anyone who's curious about what schizophrenia feels like, this is a really good adaptation without turning it into something scary. Because schizophrenia isn't actually always scary. And I actually talked to my mom about this yesterday. I was I was watching a TV show and there was a very clearly paranoid schizophrenic. And she was very happy with the fact that she was kind of delusional. And uh, I apologize if you saw me moving my hands up here. Um, I had a pop-up show up on my phone telling me that I had to be somewhere, but I can't because it's snowing, so I can't go anywhere. But anyway, um, yes, delusional. So she, the character that I was watching in this TV show was very happy, um, but she was talking about aliens and things abducting her and people hurting her and but she was still happy. And my mother was like, well, she can't be schizophrenic. She's happy. And I was like, mom, I don't think all schizophrenics are afraid of their, their visions, their hallucinations. I think after a while, some of them just accept it and move in. Um, I could be wrong, but I've, I've talked to some people who are schizophrenic and, and some of them are very comfortable and a little more comfortable actually, um, with these colors or, or feelings that they have and see when they're in. And yes, I said they feel, they see feelings because they feel they do. Um, 
they're very much more comfortable knowing that the crazy is there because it's familiar. And so when she starts to become normal in the world, she doesn't know how to handle it because she's never known normal. And I think I would feel the same way, and that's why this book was so wonderful to me, is I don't know what it would feel like to be normal. I've never had that experience. So I thought that this would be a really beautiful book. I thought it was five stars. I thought it was wonderful, and I think it's highly underrated. And anyone who's curious about mental illness or wants to start somewhere that's a little lighter and a little easier to get into and kind of cutesy, I don't want to use that word because it really was a good depiction of it and it really gives it justice, but it doesn't do it in a scary way. I think this is a beautiful place to start. So this is Made You Up by Francesca Zappia and it was a five star read for me and I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.